welcome back to Art with Mrs. Hudson. Today I want to show you how you can navigate to find different programs to use for drawing on your iPad. So when you go into your Schoology and you click on your art class, once you find your digital art assignment, you're going to click on the assignment. You'll see some information about an artist, you can scroll down. I've posted a demonstration using the tool, the whiteboard, on the iPad, but I'm not positive if it's something that's available for everybody. So right here, it says link to Sketchpad 5.0. You want to click on that link and it's going to take you to an online program that you don't have to download. You can use it right on the internet. So this is the Sketchpad 5.0 program that's available online. There are some things that I really like about it and there are some things that are very frustrating about it. So do the best you can and try to create something using varying shapes and sizes, using lines and using fill. So the toolbar that you're going to mostly use is right here. So when you click on these little paintbrush and tools there, it opens up. This is the move tool, the crop tool, zoom in tool. Over here is the writing tool. So there's a lot of different options as far as what you can use for writing. Um, I'm going to suggest that you just use your pencil at this point. Also, I want you to use the shape tool. So when you go into the shapes, the shapes are going to have a fill color and an outline color. So if you want to change the color, the colors up here don't seem to change the color. So you have to click down here on the bottom portion. So if I want pink, I would then click on the color to apply that pink and then close that little tab by clicking on the down arrow. So I'm going to start out with my squares. So depending on how or where you want your squares, I want you to try to do some overlapping. Whoops. So sometimes if you hold your finger down a little bit too long or accidentally bump down when you are finished creating something, it will sh create a second shape, usually smaller. So I want to move this shape over. So I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to grab that tool. Um, one thing that I want you to be aware of, if you are starting out, it says paint into layer. You want to make sure that that is turned off. We don't want it to be into the layer or else your different objects won't be able to be moved around. If you create something into the layer, it will be the whole layer and you can't change it once you start creating other things. So if that is off, you should be able to freely click on using the arrow tool each of your objects and adjust them however you want. So each of those individual shapes can be moved around. So now that I have my squares, I want to add a second object. So you can choose any other object that you want. Um, again, if you want to change your color, you're going to go down to the bottom and you're going to click on whatever color it is that you're looking for. Um, once it comes up in the realm of what you are looking for, then you can adjust it to your liking. You're going to again click on the color so that that makes the box disappear and click on the down arrow. So now I'm going to incorporate some spirals into my picture. I'm going to do different size spirals. And I'm going to make sure that I'm overlapping my other shapes. And it's also okay to go off the page. It actually creates more interest when you do that. 
So your next option is going to be to fill your background space. Now what happens here is it comes up automatically as a vector fill. I find that the pixel fill is more accurate and gets the whole background. So you want to switch that to pixel fill and you want to click on the color that you want your background to be. There are patterns, um, but sometimes the patterns and the radial, the linear, those sometimes do not change very easily. Um, so I like to just stick to the basic colors. So now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose my color that I want for my background. And then once I have my color, again, I'm going to click on the color button. I'm going to click on the down arrow and then I'm going to fill my background. So wherever you have white space, you want to fill it in. If you have a stylus, the stylus might be able to get some of your smaller spaces a little bit better. Oops, undo. Once you're happy with your picture, you can then go in to your drawing tool, your pencil. Um, for your pencil, you can again change your color if you choose. I'm going to keep mine black and I'm going to add some lines. Oops. So have fun with this program, play around with it. Um, remember that sometimes it doesn't always do what we want it to do, but just do the best you can. Um, you can always start new by clicking on the plus button over the folder. Um, if you are finished and you want to save your project, you're going to click on Save JPEG. You can also take a screenshot. So to be sure that you have your project saved before it disappears, you're going to click on the power button and the home button, and it takes a screenshot. So now when I go into my photos, here's my screenshot. Uh, but if you want to create a new one, you could click on the plus button that's on top of the file, new, a blank one, create, and then you can start fresh. So play around with it. Technology can be frustrating. So remember, be patient. Um, it's not working well, you can always close out. If something's not working correctly, um, you want to start by reopening. So getting rid of everything and then going back and starting from the beginning. So once you're into Schoology, find your class, find your art folder, find your digital art project, and find the link. Thanks for joining me.